got him! <laughs> Doggy in the hole! First one of the day. And we're five sunnies deep. Look at Perfect that. Perfect shot right behind the head. Okay, we're here on Big Pine. This is our cousin Mike Brown with Grumpy Balls. How's it going? And he's gonna take me spearing for the first time. Never been spearing. So we're here on Big Pine. We got his wheeler, our wheeler, and we're gonna see what we can get into. He also makes like the coolest jigs like you'll see in some of the films that we did. Yep. Yeah, well, let's get ready to rock and roll. open the water right there. Open water right there. Wow. Sketchy. That would suck. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get off. <clears throat> At least the underwater drone is waterproof but all my other shit is not so I'll walk <laughs> about four inches of ice right there Woo! shit that's scary so Mike and I are gonna set up right here with the spear hole and dad's gonna be right over there so we can get the underwater camera shots Your buddy's name, please. Jordan Gunderson uh, from uh, Faustin. Right on. Looks yeah. like she's been around the block. It's original ice saw. Hell yeah. Fish's ice saw. And there we are. We are in Mike's hub here. Big old Eskimo. Dad's right behind us over there. And we are set up. So which spear is that? This one is made by a gentleman in Grand Rapids. This is a seven tine. And I'll be throwing a five tine made by a gentleman out of Carlos. We are all set up. Close the windows and get some fish in. All right. So, how do you recommend? Do I stick the prongs in the water then, so yes, I don't you will, crank up so high to hit the roof? Yeah, you want to lower your spear into the water. You just don't want to go like that because then it'll just splash. Okay. Do you want to show a little bit of your uh, spinner you made? Yeah. So I got a variable speed motor that we made. So you can crank it up and get the ball spinning faster. Oh hell yeah. Or you can crank it down and then that thing will barely spin once the line catches up and then it'll just barely creep. That's awesome. You made that, huh? Yeah. It's another exclusive Grumpy's Balls product. And then the line adjusters I make. And then I use nine millimeter shell casings for my pegs. That is freaking sick. And where can people find these? 
Uh, locally, they can get them at Gene Sports Shop, uh, Quality Bait, DL. Uh, Gene Sports Shop in Pearl? Yep, and then uh, Mark Sweet Spice still has some too on stock. Right on. Oh, you got your Facebook page as well. Facebook page, and we do have our website, grumpyballs.com. Right on. Here's an example of some of the jigs he makes. We have a box about this size too. So there's one of Grumpy Ball's exclusive jigs right there. There's all kinds of sunfish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sunnies. There's a big crappie down there too. Come on, hit it. There we go. That's a pig of a sunny right there. Good start to the day. Yeah. Them, yeah, no kidding. Still down there? Oh yeah. The rest of them didn't even move. This one can I say, yeah, I'm gonna come and get it. This little dumbass. Well, that's a nice fish. Nice. There's two two sunnies. And a grumpy jig. On a grumpy jig. Haven't even been in here for ten minutes. Can't really pick up a whole lot with all the light, but. Took one out of Chad's playbook today. Natural colors. There we go. Natural colors. It's pretty cool to see some of your some of your stuff in action, man. Oh, here's another pig. Right on his head. Come on. Oh, oh, oh this would be a good eater for you. There you go. Oh. He didn't even budge. There we go. Come on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on. Oh, look at the fucker. Here we go. I got another. Another waxy? What? I said the tuning mods we did on Bot Gen 4 are perfect. Oh, here, here. You got them. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> look at them pigs. <laughs> There's three in a matter of 15 minutes. It's the most sunfish I've caught out of your spirit. Really? Usually these things will not bite. <laughs> they swim right by and say screw. That one didn't even, there wasn't even a waxy on there. You just took your jig. That's good. Straight up. Out here on Big Pine. Oh, Sucker that. decoy. Keep that on the ice. Big Northern? Okay. Hey, he's coming in. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. There he is. Got him! That is a fucking donkey. <laughs> donkey in the hole. First one of the day. And we're five sunnies deep. Look at Perfect that. Perfect shot right behind the head. Look at that, dude. You got the double grumpy ball here. And then we got Mike's trusty sucker decoy that just landed us our first northern of the day. It was a swamp donkey. Fucking <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh my god, that thing is fucking huge. <laughs> That's the biggest northern I've got up here. Very nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Grab a tape measure. <laughs> you just got fish laying all over out here. In the 30s, I called it. We're 34 inches to the tip. Oop, I'm getting all tangled up here. God damn it. I'm flustered. I'm gonna miss it, ain't I? Another. No, that was Mike. I got tangled up in the rope here. I got the the I got the newbie jitters. That one was a little further back. But I wasn't going to let it go. Nice, nice. Well, there's two for two within the first hour and four sunnies. Well, dang it. I'm going to, here, I'm going to get this all ready to rock here now. There we go. <clears throat> I don't want to hit your... Right. Go for it. Got him. 
Oh, oh. No. That's not good. I don't think I got in. Now I feel bad. You didn't get them very far deep. Okay. So what's the secret? Um, angle. Just angle shots are a little harder. So next time we'll try to get them to see if they go. can shoot right under. Yeah. There you go, Fred. Yeah, I stuck him and he got off. That was a my bad. Right Aim for right behind the head. There you go. Yeah, Perfect got him. shot. Well, there's round two for me and I got her. Nice. Right behind the head, right where you want to hit. Cool. Yeah. My first one. So we're going to take off Grumpy's golden spoon here. And slap on this tiger looking one. Some orange. Holy. That one was really close. Yeah, this uh, tiger looking one with some orange spoons on. Tiny dancer. Tiny dancer. Let's see what we can get. If we don't fall through by then. So this one's a what, Mike? This one is a Rick Worth decoy. He uh, hand tools all the blades, and everything is hand carved. Oh. Oh. Wow! Oh. Does the job. Every time you set something new down. Oh, oh. oh perfect. There's two! Yeah! Looky there! Oh, yeah. so. <laughs> yeah, I got him pretty good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> nice job! That's another bigger one. Got him! That's number six! Number freaking six. Back to the head cam, guys. Get him. <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah, <laughs> I barely got right through the brain. <laughs> I barely got his ass. <laughs> Not a friggin' bad day. A little close up of the chisels. This is the inch and a half. That's the two inch. Two inch heavy duty. No molly pipe. Forty one forty. You will not bend this chisel. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> inch and a half regulars. These things. Shatter ice. There's a two inch heavy duty. <laughs> well, I think we have reached the dead spot of the day. We got seven swamp snakes out there. Yep. A few pans. Yep. It was a good day. And your teaser balls over there, they did work their magic today. I definitely got that on camera. What else does Grumpy Balls make? Well, we have our uh, teaser line. We make the line adjusters. We have our rotating motors, variable speed. We have single speed motors and variable speed. Sucker harnesses. We have some new stuff in coming soon. And then the summer is coming up, so we'll jump into the summer line. Crappie jigs. We have our ice jigs that we do have. Uh, bucktails, bass spinners, big spinners. Um, chisels, hoodies, everything's on our website. If anybody has any questions, they can always reach it. You know, hit me up on Facebook or jump on the site and send me a message, and I can get stuff to them. We did launch uh, Tulibi spoons this year, so we have a grumpy spoon with a grumpy jig on it for all you guys that want to go out and do some Tulibi fishing. 
hit me up. Uh, Gene Sports Shop right now is, has them in stock. Stay tuned. We post everything on our Facebook site. We'll have some new stuff coming. Hell yeah, man. We got to see some of the stuff in action today, and there will definitely be more for you guys to watch um, of his products next year. That's right. So this is probably the last hoorah, judging by the way the ice is cracking under our feet. Alrighty, well thanks for the getting us on some fish and a nice guided trip. Oh yeah, no problem. Anytime. Uh, Dad did a good job running our underwater bot, so we get all <laughs> those fancy shots for you guys. Oh yeah, it was fun. Stay tuned for more of this guy's stuff on the channel. And uh, that being said, life is short, so get out and do all the things. Make sure you got balls. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one.